Uh, oh, it was a win first and foremost for Rangers, Paul. That's that's what they needed. Uh, I know that Philippe Clement has said in his post-match uh, stuff that he's not bothered about goals and, and league position in Celtic at the moment as long as they win. But internally, in the manager's office, in the Rangers dressing room, and in the stands, they would be bitterly disappointed that they did not take that opportunity last night. Even if it's only for a couple of days, Paul. Psychologically, just to go and do it, just to go and meet a target and get it done and go top for the first time this season, I think is a real wasted opportunity for, for Rangers just to really send out a marker. Grand scheme of things, yeah. not overly significant, sure. but it just shows that they can meet a target, you know. And Celtic fans, how do you think your team will react? Because I think most people expected you would be knocked off the top, albeit just in goal difference last night. Does it make any difference, the psychology of it, Mark? It might do, Paul. Listen, it wouldn't do any harm. You see, if, you, if, if you're ranging, actually, you're actually going home last night, yeah. you're waking up this morning, oh, by the way, we'll talk the table. First time this season, look at what we've achieved. We've finally managed to knock Celtic off the top of the table. They had a chance to do it last week against Aberdeen. Another chance... Uh, last night and I think we all suspected Paul that um, Rangers are certainly I think they're in it for the long haul they're going to stay the distance and there's every chance they will become league champions but the fact that they didn't get another number nine in might come back to haunt them and I said that at the time I know that a lot of the focus was on what Celtic did at number nine during the transfer window but the fact that Rangers didn't get one in and the manager definitely wanted one let's make no mistake about that that might come back to haunt them. Craig Moore, 21 shots on target for Rangers. Mm. There are only two for Ross County. Um, 13 games to go. Is that going to be a factor? I mean, we don't know just now, but it could be the fact they didn't get a Lauren Shankland or someone else, mm. an out-and-out striker. Well, it, it could be, Paul. I mean, I was involved in a, in a title-winning uh, season when it went down to goals. Yep. Um, a long, long time ago. So, look, the, the, for 21 me, years ago. Yeah, yep. there you go. So, for me, the, the importance of goals when they're there to be had uh, and, and I feel like I said that definitely last night against Ross County should have been a bigger scoreline um, the number nine that we, we've alluded to just there I would have loved to have seen another number nine in uh, and I was pretty honest in terms of I thought Shanklin was that man and I would have had a lot more confidence um, but I will say that under Clement and, and in terms of you know the first 30 minutes in particular that match last night I thought Rangers were very very good um, they were very positive they were very direct, uh, and I'm not saying like long ball direct, um, but they just they, they they moved the ball quickly. There was a real intensity about their play, whether it be in the wider areas or whether it be through the middle to to Dessers, There was real intent. I think behind closed doors, though, I think Clement will be he will be demanding more in terms of we've got to take more opportunities. When you get that many 21 shots on goal, you need to be scoring more.